Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, this is a midweek reading for all of all of you. Um, this is I'm going to entitle this reading um, Angels and Fairies for July 2020. Um, and we'll see what the angelic realm and the fairy energy wants to say to you all at this time. Now, I'm going to, um, first of all, um, lay down the um, Oracle of the Angels uh, cards by Mario de Guay. Beautiful imagery. Um, and they've already been pre-shuffled. Um, and then on top of those, I will lay the 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 fairy oracle cards by um brian froud okay so i'll just put those to one side at the moment um as i say i have done a, a pre-shuffle but i'll just do a final shuffle wow okay right we've just had a card that shot out that we'll just have a quick look at um it's it's the awareness card so this is something about um either uh, raised awareness about something or you are hoping or praying for um, more knowledge about something. So let's have a look. If it comes out again in the reading, that, that's fantastic. But it certainly needed to talk to us um, at this time. Okay. Right. So we put down um, current energy, a challenge to that. What's in your power? What else is in your power? Um, an outcome. Um, and then one from the bottom, which is a, an, an overall energy and an extra message from the, um, the angels. So we'll just do a final shuffle of Brian Froud's Furry Oracle. A little bit of extra depth. Okay, fire signs, here we go. So, what's your current energy at this time? Or what's the, at the heart of the reading? Um, we have I am creator. Now, this is when we have lots of ideas um, formulating um, in our mind. This is when we have that lovely energy of um, sitting back within ourselves um, and seeing what comes forward um, in, in our mind or in our heart or a combination. So this is acknowledging as well for yourself, fire signs. I know Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, you know, you are quite a uh, creative, fiery, um, energetic, very positive um, uh, energy. And um, it's interesting that this particular card has come out right at the heart of your reading. So there's something going on in your mind. You, you, you've got some ideas that are formulating fire signs. Something is uh, growing and developing um, in your mind or in your mind's eye. Um, and, yeah, so as a clarifier, we have Oi That Gnome. Um, and Oi That Gnome, is a, it brings chaos to situations however what the message of the card is um, look for the opportunity within this chaos that's currently around us at this time um, it's the cloud the dark cloud with the silver lining look for the silver lining don't get don't dwell on the dark cloud don't dwell on the chaos look beyond that um, and see the opportunities now that are coming forward and um, for you fire signs uh, challenges, uh, the challenges to this are uh, an, an inner calling and the master maker. So you have an inner calling. There's something um, deep within you, um, something you've perhaps inherited from a previous lifetime or lifetimes. It could be something that um, you've inherited or brought forward in your DNA, um, fire signs. But you've got an inner calling. Now, for some of you, that will be a spiritual calling, um, wanting a deeper connection with whether it's nature, with the universal energies or both. 
um, um, for others of you, this is something, a, a deep held desire or passion um, that uh, you've held and perhaps held back. And remember, we've had Oi That Known, which is about looking for the opportunities um, around. And you've got an inner calling, something calling to you. However, this is a challenge. This this may be um, difficult for you um, to take forward or you feel that it's difficult um, because this is in the challenge position. And the master maker is saying this is about um, doing achieve. This is an achievement card, but it's more than that. It's going far and beyond that which you feel you can achieve. So it's building up it being becoming. Um, the master of something in your life, um, whether it's some, this new idea uh, that is coming forward for you. But it's not just accepting um, less or thinking, well, I'm not good enough. This is saying you are, but not just good enough. You've got to aim for the stars here, fire signs. You've got to aim for the stars. Believe in yourself. Grow into the skin that you are meant to have around you. But these are challenges for you at this time. Now, what, what's in your power position? Well, we have joy and we have the oak man. So joy is, this is about um, enjoying that which we have, enjoying uh, our environment, uh, looking around us or going out, seeing the magic in life and, and lifting our energy, lifting our spirits and being joyful and thankful for that which we have, um, whatever that means for you, fire signs. It'll be something perhaps a little bit different for all of you, but this is in your power and this is important. This is very important. We can create our own magic, our own majesty. And we don't have to depend on others and rely on others to do that for us because nobody understands you like you understand yourself, fire signs. Um, and then we have the oak men, which is about drawing on ancient roots, drawing on ancient wisdom, using your wisdom, perhaps talking to the elders in the family or in the community, drawing on their wisdom, perhaps. But this is really getting to the root of things um, and taking your time, taking your time, going deep within your soul, perhaps, deep within the roots of yourself to find out, you know, who you are. What is it that truly sets your soul on fire? And that's going to be bringing you that joy. What else is in your power, fire signs? Well, we have infinite potential. So if ever you wanted a little bit of extra um, confirmation uh, about whatever it is that uh, you have got starting to formulate in that creative mind of yours, this card is saying it is definitely within your power and you have infinite potential. Don't limit yourself. Look, we have we have the figure um, in the dove and the dove is going upwards and we see the geometric geometrical shapes all around within this beautiful ring of fire. All right. Don't restrict yourself. You know, head, aim for the stars. All right. You have infinite potential. The only person that can stop you is you, fire signs. Um, and here we have another wisdom card. This is the sage. This is about, look, this is about um, inner wisdom. Uh, wise, um, you can see he, we, he, he has one eye that looks um, blinded, doesn't it? It's completely clear. And the other one is seeing. Now, what this means is that um, with this eye, he, on this side, he is looking inward. So he's looking inward for the wisdom that he needs. Um, with this eye, he's looking outward. So looking outward for that wisdom, searching outward. So if you can use a combination of these, use your instincts and your inner wisdom and knowing uh, about yourself and what your desires are and what you want. But also looking outward. What is out there? What are the opportunities out there? Talk to people um, in the area uh, of knowledge um, that you are hoping to go forward with. 
Um, and also with the sage, um, this is about also, um, you know, going out into nature, all right, breathing in nature. And, and while you're walk, going for walks in nature, try to um, have, go into a semi-meditative state at times and communicate um, in your mind, communicate with the universal energies and ask for help and support and direction. All right, infinite potential, remember that, remember that. Draw on wisdom, draw on your inner wisdom and external wisdom. Look for the sage energies um, in your community, perhaps. And then we've got an outcome here uh, of inner peace and friends. So this is we get this is when uh, we work in harmony with ourselves um, and and in our environment around us and perhaps with others around us we achieve the inner peace and this is what you are going to achieve fire sign um, as fire signs as you go forward as you go through that archway um, you you are this is where you're going to find the inner peace but you've got to step forward. You've got to go towards that. You've got to work towards that and make decisions uh, and perhaps step outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, and here we have the friends. So this is about how uh, we work together with our friends, family, community. Um, and But finding your tribe, Aries, finding the people who think a little like you, who have got the same aims and aspirations, uh, and going forward together. You can hardly see the join here between these friends on on this card, the picture on this card. And they are very, both very different, very different, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they are unified with a sense of purpose going forward. So lovely. And this is where you're going to find your inner peace. Find your tribe. Find the people, get the people around you um, that, think, that think like you, that have your back, if you like, and that you have their back. And this is where the inner peace is going to come from. So important for you, fire signs, because of your um, energies and your creativity and your passions. You have to also achieve that sense of balance and peace within yourself. Here we are. It, just in case you needed a, a final, uh, a final uh, confirmation uh, for this reading, believe in your dreams. Believe in the dreams that you have that are far bigger than who you think you are. Dream big, dream big, and aim for the stars. Here we are, and the piper, and this is where you will be in harmony with yourself. Fire signs. This is the Piper card. This is about achieving harmony, whatever, however, whatever that means for you. I mean, in the purest sense, this card is about harmonious music, because for some people, that is what creates the inner harmony for themselves and makes them feel very joyful. Um, and in step, it can help. It makes you want to dance sometimes, doesn't it? And um, for other people, it is going out into nature or spending time with family and friends. So, but this is about harmony. Believe in your dreams, aspire, aim for the stars, don't limit yourself, and you will. This is going to help you with your inner peace um, and creating harmony within you and around you. Because once you are in that peaceful state, once you are on your life path, then y the harmony will happen naturally for you and for those around you. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Fire Signs. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I've been really, I've really enjoyed doing this reading for you. Such a positive, beautiful um, energies that are coming forward from the angels and the fairies. Um, please let me know if you have enjoyed the reading and if it's been meaningful for you in the comments below the video. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Please join me again in the future. Um, at the weekend, I always produce individual star sign um, readings for uh, the following week. So please do join me again. Take care now going forward. Bye bye. <laughs>